Outreach Interpreter for the Eastern District of the Metro Parks. Today I have a project for you called Handprint Art. Let's get set up. First, make sure your table is covered. Wear some old clothes that are okay to get messy. You'll need some paint that is water washable. Think about what colors you'd like to use. You'll need a heavy piece of paper, but you can use poster board or a piece of cardboard if you like. It should be eight and a half by 11 or bigger. You'll need paint brushes, some water in a container so that you can clean those paint brushes, a thin marker, paper towel or an old wet washcloth. If you are an impatient painter like I am, you could use an old hair dryer to speed up the paint drying process, but it's really not necessary. For our project today, we're going to make a handprint owl. Gonna paint now. Let's paint the background first. It can be any color you want. Maybe consider the color of the sky. Think about what time of day it is. Is it daytime? Nighttime? Is it a cloudy sky? A sunny sky? Look out your window and look at what color the sky is today. I would tell you to go out and look for an owl, but I know they are really hard to find. So search online or look in a book at some pictures of owls. I'm going to make a couple of owls. One will be white, like a snowy owl, and one will be brown, like a screech owl. I'll make my hand white, just like the snowy owl. But you can make your owl any color you want to. So take a nice wide paintbrush and paint the color you choose right onto your hand. It's okay if you need help with this. This could be a fun family project. Get everyone's handprint on there. If your paint is too thick, you can add a little bit of water to mix it up. Okay, my hand is painted. Keep your fingers together. Now stamp your hand onto the paper. Press good and hard. Lift your hand and take a look. Good job. Now let the hand print dry. This is a good time to go wash your hands. You can speed things up with that hair dryer if you want to. Our fingers will be the owl's tail feathers. To make it easy, turn your paper upside down. Now that your hand print is dry, we can add some owl details. How about a tree limb? Let's give him something to sit on. Get some brown or gray paint, some tree color paint, on your paintbrush. Make the limb go right across where your fingers attach to your palm. You can add a tree trunk, but you don't have to. This is your creation. Make it how you want it. Our owl needs some toes to hang on to that branch. It has two legs. Owls have two toes that go forward and two toes that go backward. So we can only see its two front toes around the branch. So there should be four toes showing. Get a little paint on a small brush and give your owl two toes on each foot. They are just two little short lines. Put your brush in that water to clean out the paint. Owls are birds, so they have a beak. Get a little paint on your small paintbrush. Make one beak, just a little short line right in the middle of your handprint, above the owl's toes. Whatever color you want. Clean off your brush. Let's think about our owl for a minute. Is your owl asleep or is it awake? If your owl is asleep, take your thin marker and make some sleepy eyes. Just a line for each eye. It has two eyes just like you. That's it. Done. If your owl is awake, 
get a little paint on your small paintbrush, whatever color you want. Make a dot on each side of its beak. Let that paint dry. Maybe use the hair dryer. Clean off your brush. Then take your thin marker and make dots in the middle of each eye. Put a tiny bit of white paint on that brush and put a tiny white dot in the black part of the owl's eye. That will make it look shiny. Make sure to clean that paintbrush. Owls have ear tufts on their head. They are feathers that stick up and look like ears. Take your small paintbrush, use the same color that you used for your handprint, and make two little ear tufts on top of its head, one on each side. You can add other things to your painting if you want to. Maybe some leaves on the tree, the moon if it's nighttime, sunshine if it's daytime, clouds, little bugs. It's up to you. Have fun. That was fun. I hope to see you out on the trails with your family real soon. My name is Lori. Stop in and see me sometime. Thanks for watching.